I'm sorry, dear Larry, says I, to see you in this situation. And blister me limbs if I lie, I'd have leave it to be me own station. It's all over with me, says he, for the necklace I'm forced to put on. And this time tomorrow you'll see your poor Larry as dead as a mutton. Because why his courage was good. And I be cut up like a pie, and me not from me body be parted. Ah, you're in the wrong box, then says I, for blast me if they're so hard hearted. A cheek on the back of your neck is all that you catch there to give you. Then why not such trifles affect? And let not the likes of them grieve you. It's my fate to die, lad. I must bear it like a man. Yet it breaks me heart to leave me on his friends. He's got you cheating, bloody robbers. What's in my hand do you call this? You won't feel anything else, son. Is that so? What makes you so sure? Look, my father was hanged once. Came back to me in a dream. Tell Peggy not to worry, he said. It didn't hurt at all. My Uncle Jack's head came off. That right. I reckon that's because the rope was too long. Ask not to have it too long this time, Larry. Not too short either. Otherwise, it's 20 minutes before you're gone. Yeah, I remember I saw a fella hanged once in Kilmainham. The love of God, it has changed the subject. The cards being called for they played. Till Larry found one of them cheated. Quick, he made a hard rap at his head. The lad being easily heated. So you cheat me because I'm in grief. Is that with a hokey your reason? I'd have you to know, you damn thief, that you're cracking your jokes out of season. And I'll scuttle your knob with me fist. Then in comes the clergy with books. And folk, I'm so neat and so civil. Larry tipped him a kill main and look. And pitched his big wig to the devil. And then raising a little his head. Or to get a sweet drop of the bottle, he sighing most heavily said, Oh, the hemp will be soon round me throttle, and squeeze me for a windpipe to death. I'm sorry, lads. My heart's not in the game. Leave me alone for an hour, till I draw out my will. Would you ever bring us back a jar or two? I will that, Larry. Now, oh, what's the use? I can't ride anyway. because I love you so much. I was hasty. Larry, if I help you to escape, will you forgive me? 
Oh, well, then I must dodge what you do that. <laughs> he does, the jailer. I've stolen his keys. But the powers are saved. Don't stand there, woman. Open the gate. I must do something first. Anything, but hurry up, for God's sake. Will you swear to be true to me? I will. Where's the bloody key? And will we go away together? I swear it on my grandmother's grave. Hey, Larry, your wife's come to say goodbye to you. I'll be the holy and destroyed again. Oh, Larry, what have they done to you? Who are you? A very good friend of Larry's. Well, I happen to be his wife. I've come to say goodbye to my husband. I've come to help him escape. We're going away together. Look, I couldn't be going to discuss this over a few jars. But, Larry, how could you? You promised you'd never look at another woman. No matter of speaking. He promised me, too. He won't. We ever get out of this place and going into a monastery. Don't cry. He isn't worth it. I know he isn't. But I loved him. So did I. I once loved a boy and a bonny, bonny boy who would come and would go at my So very, very well that I built him a bower in my bed. I once loved a boy and a bonny, bonny boy, and a boy that I thought was my own. He loves another girl better far than me and has taken his leave and gone. The girl that has taken my own bonny boy let her make of him Sit them down, no, behind the 
His wife's just going to say goodbye to him. They'll want to be alone. He won't be thinking about a few jars at a time like this. I wonder what's keeping him at all. Change the keys. Look it, if you won't let me out, would you ever go and unlock the front door and let me friends in? By bringing me back a few jars. I'll do that for you, Larry. Just to show there's no hard feelings. So it's goodbye, Larry. Oh, I feel as if my heart would break in two. How do you think I feel? I never was hanged before. I tried to be a good wife to you, Larry. I know, love. You're already trying. Oh, Larry, aren't you sorry for all the wicked things you've done to me? Don't you wish you'd been a better husband? I'll tell you what I wish. Mm -hmm.